might be wondering what this technique is. This technique is called the trill, and I'm going to show you two of them that you can use throughout your blues playing. So what is a trill? As you noticed, it's a technique that involves rapid playing, rapid succession of notes. But this succession of notes doesn't involve climbing a scale or playing a bunch of notes. It involves playing two notes. And it involves a hammer-on, a pull-off, followed by many more hammer-ons and pull-offs. And you stop when you think it's a good time to stop. So the way that this technique works is there's one stroke of the pick. And that stroke of the pick starts, initiates the technique. But every other note that is played after is either the result of a hammer-on or pulling off to the original note that you picked. So I'm going to demonstrate by playing a trill that is played over the one, anytime over the one, over the A chord. And it's going to be on the D string on these two notes over here, fret 5 and fret 7. Now you always want to start off by picking the first note, okay? And the first note of the trill usually is going to involve picking the lower note. So in this case, fret 5. You pick that note and then you hammer on to fret 7 and you pull off and you hammer on, pull off and hammer on, pull off and hammer on. And when you do it quickly, you're going to notice that there's always going to be enough residual sound for the hammer on and pull off to actually work. So you want it to be balanced and you want the time in between each hammer on and each pull off to be equal, equidistance. So it sounds like this. And what I mean by equidistance, it, it sounds a bit weird if you were to play it like this, for example, which is not something you should do. It sounds a bit strange. You want it to be... Same distance, you repeat the hammer on and pull off throughout. So now we're going to have a closer look at what this entails. So remember, you're plucking the first string, hammering on, pulling off, and then continue. And whatever rhythm you start out at, you want to keep the same speed up. It's really important that it's a con this is a this is a technique that is all about consistency in terms of intervals between each hammer on and each pull off and so forth. So you can play this at different speeds. It can sound something like or something like So now I'm going to demonstrate the slower of those two with time. One, two, one, two, three, four. I notice that I'm just like I explained in the hammer on and pull off videos, it's important that you try to strike or pull off from the center of the fret. You don't want to do something like, you know, once you start getting too close to an actual fret, it kind of cuts the sound and distorts it a little bit, and you want to avoid that.